I think it's safe to say that this weekly has been a little divisive. Personally, I think it's cool. I love what they're doing. Um, you just have a different kind of take on the weekly. It's a brand new type of game mode that you can't just have in customs, right? I don't know if I see the replayability, I think is my main gripe. Once you play it a few times and you get the gist of it, you're basically going summons and stuff, but I figured for all of those of you who are still trying to figure it out or just haven't really gotten around to playing it a whole lot, here's a few of the takeaways I've learned and hope it helps you. Or if you just want to see some more weekly videos, here you go. All right, we're going to check out the weekly again few more videos. I feel like I haven't really gotten the full gist of it. <laughs> we got two triples here. All right, we'll take it. I feel like I haven't really fully captured the essence of the weekly yet. So we're going to give it another shot. Kind of just see how it goes. See if we can deduce the best ways to win. Um, and then we're, we're actually probably done. We get the level up here, which is pretty sweet. Into a kangaroo. Could do the duckling cell, give him a couple extra health, but honestly we don't have enough gold as is to really, <laughs> really fill out our team here. So I mean, we'll throw him on here, sell him for whatever we find. It's going to be a dragonfly, I guess, or lightning bug. What are they called? Firefly. Okay. So I think this is going to be the setup. We're just going to have to hope that this is enough. Oh, they actually they aren't that strong. All right, we'll take it. They just had like a big hedgehog there. Not too bad. All right, so hedgehog is good. I like this little like buy, sell chinchilla thing. You still get the two, two, but it only costs you a couple gold. Not too bad. Um, we could sell the ducklings here. I think we're just going to hedgehog. See what else we can give a bunch of health. I mean, this is pretty good. In general, I think we could save a duckling. In general, Sphinx here always go magic carpet this weekly. It is just perfect. So much better than the lamp for obvious reasons, but even aside from the lamp not being as good, magic carpet, you're always going to be playing five pets, right? So just give them some extra health. It's fantastic. So let's see here. Um, yeah, we're not quite going to get through. This kind of brings up a point I've been thinking. Nightcrawler is just, it's just perfect. Nightcrawler, if you can get a Nightcrawler, ideally with the Kangaroo as well, it's just like you, you almost can't lose early game. Like we're guaranteed to win here. There's just telling you right now. Because you get the Nightcrawler, you get a whole boatload of stats on the Kangaroo. Because the Nightcrawler is going to have like infinite health. And I mean, I guess we could double up here. There's also an argument to be made to spread out the love a little. We could have gone Nightcrawler next turn guaranteed, but let's run it like this. You can never be too confident, but like, look at this. A 714 on turn four. <laughs> like, obviously we didn't need the other Nightcrawler. Um, but we did find another one, so that's huge. So let's see. Um, yeah, we probably should have played the Sphinx before the Nightcrawler. I wasn't really paying attention to that one yet. I was just like, Nightcrawler, let's do it. Um, great. So Penguin's good. Dolphin's good. The Garlic is like fine, but let's try to get some better pets here. Flying Fish. It's essentially giving 2-2. Two, two onto the night crawler or the day crawler which is actually quite good because they spawn with three attack in this case i think we keep the night crawler for next turn but yeah if they're spawning with three attack an extra couple attack is actually very good um maybe Dude, there's a lot of flying fish around here i'll tell you that much um let's see we get a good snipe early, saves us from one of the summons. And that might actually do it for us. It's enough to get us the draw. They got a little lucky with their weakness. We got a little lucky. We'll take it. Okay, we go here, go Nightcrawler again. Like I said, get as many Nightcrawlers as you can. 
Buckling is generally pretty good as well. Just for a little extra health. I'm thinking... Okay. I'm thinking at this point, so... We can buy sell a duckling here. We'll be at six gold and we can buy two homies. I think we combine our night crawlers, throw in the minotaur behind them, as well as the ogopogo to get a level two. And then I think again, this is guaranteed to win. I would go so far as to say. And of course it's nice to have the minotaur here. Save him for next turn. Um, so let's see if we're correct. So we actually... <laughs> there, there I go. We would have been guaranteed to win, but our, our homie got sniped before the Ogopogo. So, I guess in lieu of snipes we would have, but... <laughs> you know. Here we are. So... Another very important point. Pro... Always get Crow on tier 4. You have plenty of money. Just hold him on your team until you're ready to get rid of him. And then at the very end, freeze and then sell the chocolate. I always forget to hold him on the team first. I <laughs> sometimes instinctively just buy a sell. But effectively, you know, you have the open space on your team. It's like storing a chocolate while still getting food rolls. So it's a very effective strategy. Especially considering how good they are. Well, that's unfortunate. We still get a win, though. How good chocolate is late game. Like, the way that you win late game, I'm not even exaggerating, is with chocolate. That is just how it is, you know? So, if you can get a couple chocolates stored up, it makes it so much easier to pivot. And we could actually chocolate here, get a tier 5. I mean, we're obviously not taking Silver Fox. I don't really know why Silver Fox is in this weekly. By the time you get to him, you're already maxed out on gold every round anyways. So he doesn't... I think he doesn't really do anything. <laughs> right? Unless I'm missing something, I'm pretty sure it's useless. So they do get the snipe here, but I mean, it really doesn't matter. We were not looking for the Scorpion too hard. As you can see, we got plenty of backup here. Okay, so we actually roll into a chocolate, so we don't have to buy sell the crow. That's huge. Anglerfish is one of my favorite pets this weekly. Because, I mean, most of the time, the enemy team is also running good units, right? So, they're running the same exact stuff that you want to be running. So, anglerfish is just really good at finding good units. Um, I guess in this case, we do want to buy sell the crow. Save room for our next crow. I mean, might as well just pair here. We've got the summons. It's really just a matter of... You know, how do we want to play... How do I... <laughs> Hold that thought. I'm trying to think with the crow here, right? We don't have enough to buy, sell the zebra, and sell the crow here. I think we just skip the zebra. Just get another osprey out here. We're going to get a couple triggers on this this PDF. I'm sure you all are aware I hate PDF. I don't think he's a very good bet. Um, for this exact reason, right? Like, we're hitting this big homie here when really we want to be hitting the turkeys out back. Obviously, with two turkeys, we're far outclassed. Um, but, you know, you get the gist. There's an argument to be made to buy sell a crow here. <laughs> I don't think it's worth it, but you could. You could make that argument. Um, so really right now we're looking for foundational pets. We're looking for a turkey. If we can get the platypus cooking, that's fine too. Now this is actually a little interesting. So if we can get the level two buffalo, we already have two platypus, each of which count for three cells and then we get three gold back so they're effectively free and then our <laughs> our homie here our buffalo will get plus eight plus eight in total plus the two extra attack from the beavers it's pretty good 
Um, and then, yeah, so let's just round it out with the macaque here. Oh. Turkey is interesting. Woodpecker is also interesting. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll just throw a pineapple on you. Yeah, so this is exactly what you want to see, right? You get the turkey. Dude, come on. <laughs> Nobody's ever running these guys. Whatever, we're fun. You very rarely see scorpions. And then the one time we get the big buffalo. Whatever. But yeah, so this is what you want to see. You want to get the turkey. You want to get him level two. And then just go full summons. Sabertooth is incredibly good for this purpose. So we're going to try to stack some Sabertooths. Maybe get him leveled. White Tiger can get the Sabertooth going. And then give him lemon. We got room for one more, homie. Good pineapple, but let's, I mean, yeah, let's try. Okay, well, <laughs> that'll do. So we get the fly here. The fly won't give us any more snake triggers, but I don't think we need them. I think at this point we got plenty. Ooh, big snipes. Yeah, dude, we're cooking. Okay. I mean, this is looking good. We got two hearts left. We're doing all right. And now we just need to find another foundational pet. So Blobfish, okay, if he's level two, he'll give plus two experience to the guys behind him, which is actually very good. That instant level twos, two of your pets. I mean, White Tiger can get him there. So now we just need two, whatever two pets we want here. We can throw in a whale. Um, oh, well, this is, <laughs> hold on. Um, there's a turkey. So here's the problem. The White Tiger is the same attack as the whale. So we're going to be coin flipping on whether the White Tiger does anything. I guess we have to do it like this. But then, I don't know, the blobfish isn't doing anything. This is kind of a funky setup here. <laughs> I wish the white tiger was slightly more attack. I mean, we could roll, try to get a pair or something. Mm, yeah, let's just do it like this. I think we get rid of the blobfish here. And then just look for, okay, we get the turkey. And, I mean, <laughs> we could save the turkey for next round by putting in a PDF here. I think that's going to be the play. He'll get three triggers, which honestly isn't bad. And we'll save this. Uh, we have got a solid summon start to get us kicked off here. I mean, honestly, we're looking pretty okay. Well, maybe not. We need to get some better snipes here. Okay. That was very close. <laughs> A little too close for comfort, maybe. I mean, turkey fly. Instant amazing start. And now we're just looking for either a fly or a turkey. Or two chocolates, I guess. So in this case, if you get enough summons, the turkey is better. If you don't have a whole lot of summons, the fly is better. We got platypus here, we got snake here. I think this is probably enough on its own. We go mongoose to start, maybe. My problem with mongoose is I don't think the toy is super strong in this weekly. If you get a macaque, I think it's pretty good. But in general, it's like, yeah, it's okay. But it's not amazing. Not the greatest toy you've ever seen. He's just kind of there. Um, okay. Good summons. I think we're fine. We got very few summons. And the turkey doesn't even get to use his ability. Alright, well their team was unusually weak. Ooh, okay, here. Here's what we're gonna do. So we got anglerfish. Sabertooth is fine. We got two sabertooths here. We got another. Ooh, baby. Alright, this is looking good. So we're gonna get a level up here. We get Sabertooth. We could side stack too, but I think this is better. 
Okay, now we get a level two. <laughs> what is going on? We have more, more anglerfish. Another saber tooth. Turkey is honestly even better, especially with the chocolate. Okay, yeah. I mean, we're just we're just kind of cooking right now. This is just perfect. And we have white tiger. Um, so we can. How do I want to play this? This is a super strange team. So we could white tiger on this saber tooth, or we could put it on the turkey. Either one. So we set it up like this. So that saber tooth is going to be level three. Let's see what else we find. If we can get another saber tooth, <laughs> another anglerfish. Okay, so we get Triceratop. Not quite as good. Freeze this. See if we get another anglerfish. We do not. Okay. So I think at this point we just combine here. And then throw in the Triceratops. I guess we just throw them up front. I don't know. The white tiger is kind of not really doing anything anymore, but we didn't get him to level three. Well, there's level three. So I think we sell you. Get you three. I mean, honestly, this, this four squad, I think would just win. I think Turkey with the homie here. I just forget his name. I mean, also, we've got a, a lot of buffs going on here. <laughs> we don't even need the 14-16 Mammoth Squad. And that'll do it. So, yeah. Summons are very clearly the play. I think you start out, you get the, the Nightcrawler, and then you kind of pivot into as soon as you can get turkeys and flies, just full send. That's pretty much how it seems to go. Let's try one more, just kind of flesh it out here. All right, start us with a Cuddle Toad here. Start us with another Cuddle Toad. So yeah, the first round, kind of just normal. Try to get as many stats as possible. Duplicates don't matter. And yeah, try to get an early win. I think three, two, threes is your best bet. In this case, I like Chinchilla. You, know, you can do the whole like buy sell and then it only costs two gold kind of thing. Do it again. Can we get a third? Uh, we can get a duckling, which I guess we just want to sell here. The problem is you don't have... You don't have the marmosets to boot, right? We can't get the level three mar or the level two marmoset. So I think we just stack them like this. <laughs> if we had enough gold, we could. But that's definitely not worth selling all three of them just to get a 4 9. Alright, how's this gonna do? We were very fortunate that we didn't get weakness on our main homie. Fortunate enough to draw. I guess on that turn, a draw is equal to a loss. So, you know, <laughs> it's whatever, I guess. Um, but yeah, so let's go Cuddle Toad here. Let's get a weakness of our own. What do we want here? I mean, these all kind of suck. I love Bigfoot. Basilisk on a different unit, maybe? Kangaroo is solid. Maybe we just Chinchilla here? Or Marmoset, I guess. Um, yeah, I think this is fine. I don't know. We could probably structure this a little differently. It's an unfortunate weakness, but it turns out to not matter. Somehow we get a win here. I don't know how. <laughs> this team wasn't very strong. But now, speaking of strong, we got some night crawlers. Um, like I said last time, night crawlers, they're just overpowered. They're just too good. Uh, make sure you stack them and then play the Nightcrawler and then combine. Get an extra summon in there. Yeah, so this Nightcrawler is going to be enormous. And it's a guaranteed win. I guess unless he gets sniped. <laughs> with that little caveat. But yeah, how do you lose with a 614 on turn 4? You don't. You just quite simply do not. 
A pug could be interesting. It also preps us for a level up in the future. So we can get a guaranteed level two in battle. There's a level up. But now we kind of already used the gingerbread man, so I don't know how this is going to play out. Let's get you to a little higher health and then we'll figure out what we're doing. So I think we, we get two level twos here and then just accept that our pugs aren't actually doing anything. Like we're not going to level them kind of idea. Let's be real, tier four is not the level up that you're looking for. A lot of level ups going around. And we're good, maybe? How many? Okay. We are good. Wasn't sure how, many, how much health that guy was going to have, the day crawler. Double kangaroo, instant buy on tier three. Triple quadruple kangaroo. He's insane. And a whale is obviously good here. We just need a good summon on our whale, and then we're kind of just cooking. Bigfoot might just be fine. Not necessarily a summon, but it's a faint. And faints are good. Um, camel is also good. You can set it up like this here. When you got this set up in the back with the... Well, I'm <laughs> just kidding. We don't have this set up anymore. How is this going to play out here? Not very well. Is the snipes really get you? I was going to say, when you have the Minotaur behind a level 2, you're kind of guaranteed to win, but... Again, these snipes. Seems like Dolphin is the, the real kicker here. You know, if you're getting sauced, throw a Dolphin in there. <laughs> um, Whale behind a tar is a classic. I already have the Minotaur. And this seems like a good combo to save for next turn. This is another point I would make is always be preparing for the following turn. Right? So odds are you're going to have a team of five well before you spend all your gold. So just get ready, you know, prepare for the following turn here. That's a bit unfortunate. We missed the, I think that was a 50-50. I don't actually know. I forget the health and the Minotaur. But yeah, so make sure you're prepping for the following turn. Otherwise, you're going to win and then lose and then win and then lose, which ends up being a loss. <laughs> um, we can get a level up on our platypus here. Um, how do I want to do this, though? They'd almost rather have the whale level. Because that'll give the Minotaur more buffs. Not just from the whale, but also from the platypus that will spawn as a level 2. But this is actually going to give us net more stats than if we just level... If we just straight level the platypus. And yeah, so this is, this is going to be pretty well... Oh, God, dude. <laughs> I need to stop talking. We are going to be fine, but... We keep getting our Minotaurs sniped, and I'm not a fan. A lot more snipes in this pack than you might initially think. Um, this looks fine. We're just kind of buy selling right now. Just go around, see if we can find another PDF pineapple. Again, I'm not a huge fan of PDF, but we'll take it. It's manageable. So I think this is fine. We have double chocolate frozen, which is always the number one goal. So we're doing well there. Okay, we're getting a little bit of damage going, but they're also getting a lot of scaling. Do we have enough to get through these? We do, only because they greeted. <laughs> it's not even greed either. The whale eating the weasel doesn't do anything. You're already at 30 gold, essentially. What's the point? There is none. It's a trick question. Alright, level 2 turkey obviously is going to be the play here. And then we have platypus, of course, and Sabertooth. Two good summons. Love to see it. I feel like if nothing else, this weekly is just highlighting the new 
Sabretooth, which I'm a fan of. I think it's fun. I'm always down for the new Sabretooth. Okay, so these guys are going to be level 2. No, dude, this garlic is doing work for us. <laughs> 14, 16. The mammoths are cooking. Didn't even get to the platypus. Alright, looking good. Um, so we have to start anglerfish, because if we buy sell the oysters, we're going to be losing money. Or we're not going to be gaining money like you normally would. So now we can buy sell. Now we're up to 29? Yes. Okay. And now here, here's the little, little trick here. You level them up on two with the chocolate and then buy them. So you get two of whatever you're looking for. We didn't get any summons, unfortunately. But I mean, in this case, two zebras, that's 8-8 eight, eight in stats. Not bad. Considering it's effectively, like, free, <laughs> I think we'll take it. Or maybe one gold, depending on how you want to math that out. And then, yeah, like I was saying, keep the crow frozen here as long as you can. So that it's not taking up one of your food slots that could otherwise find chocolate and melons and all that. Now I'm looking for an angler fish here. See, chocolate. Um, I'm not seeing any, unfortunately. I think we're probably just gonna go turkey, get him to... Um, we could sell and get him level 2. I kinda wanna find another angler fish though, but we're not. Alright, just leave it how it is. We're very well set up for next round, we just need to find the, the pivotal pet. Either a turkey or a fly or whatever. Looking good. Ooh. Exact lethal and the garlic hurts. Alright. Getting the draw there is actually pretty huge. They were well outclassing our team, so we'll take it. Now I could get a level up on anybody, but again, here's the turkey. <laughs> Always try to get the turkey if you can. Um, another anglerfish is huge. They say it's a summon weekly, but I'd argue it might be a, an anglerfish weekly. Just because it gives you more summons. <laughs> and summons are OP. Um, so throw the crow in here. Keep him on your team for a second. Oh, there's a wolf. Huge. We can just get a fly or something. We're going to be in good shape. We already kind of are in good shape. Mm -mm. None of these really are vibing. Put another crow we can throw in. I mean, I'd even consider doing three chocolates here. Right? Because we already have the primary portion of our team set up. And then let's get a turkey for next round. As you can see, we're very well equipped for <laughs> the following round. Um, and yeah, I mean, let's just go kangaroo here, I guess. 11, 9 kangaroo. Not bad. What do we got? A whole lot of summons, but pretty weak units, so we're gonna get a lot of value here. That looks fantastic. Now, how big is this day crawler gonna be? Whoa! <laughs> I'm very glad we had the turkeys. That guy was massive. Alright, so... We, this guy actually doesn't really have much good stuff to work with. I think we just kind of skip it for now. Get a snake. A snake is fine. It's not bad, at least. How else do we want to... I mean, whale goes very well with snake, for obvious reasons. Maybe we could whale into a... Platypus? No. Wolf is good. I mean, wolf is just fantastic with the turkey. If we had two chocolates, I'd probably try to run the blobfish here, but that's just a little ambitious for me. Let's just try to lean in on the snake play here. Really buff up the whale. Um, we got a turkey for next turn here. This is looking good. Um, and then, yeah, let's put the anglerfish up here. That way, when we summon the wolf after the whale, it'll get all three piggies. What is their team? 
Besides bad. <laughs> Speaking of though, this is the second time. Just wanted to be very clear. Second time they've gotten exactly lethal through our garlic. It's a little disappointing. But here we're gonna get another level two turkey. Again, it's <laughs> this is kind of what I mean. This weekly is very much summon centric. If you get the early turkey, you're pretty well set up. If you don't, try next round. <laughs> That's kind of how it seems to be, at least in my experience. There are some interesting things you can do. I say interesting kind of leniently here. You can go dragon. It's possible. We saw it yesterday. You can go buffalo, kind of. But let's be real. It's all, like, summons are the most, for sure, win. And sometimes that's, like, if you're, if you're having trouble winning, do what I'm doing. <laughs> Just go summons. It's a tried and true method. Okay. Actually didn't get very many triggers there. This might be an issue. Now we're good. <laughs> the turkey gets us there. Yeah, so this is most certainly going to be the last video of the weekly. So we'll, we'll switch to something else. I'm not sure what yet, but hope this helps somebody. If you're having trouble with the weekly or you're not really sure what to do, it's kind of strange. Here's a little glimpse on what to do. I'm excited for this type of weekly. This one, replayability, not quite there for me, but it's fun. I like the creativity. Keep it up, Teamwood.